just a teen. I think I was 15, though I could have been 14. My youth was a little grim, the light in my memory a little dim. The war within so silent and yet so stubbornly defiant mirrored the external war, the war that everyone saw. Well, everyone is not quite true because it was only those who saw through the narrative that the media spun. Those of us who were undone by the atrocities that happened each day. The atrocities that came my way. My country was at war, but not everybody saw. Some lived such a sheltered life, they never knew their brethren's strife. But for those of us deep within it, those of us who didn't quite fit into apartheid's rule of white versus black, into apartheid's aftermath of who to attack for the atrocities of the country's past, the discrimination so blatantly vast, those of us lived in fear, as I did for many a year. Travelling to school, I so clearly remember my teenage mind so very tender. A gun right next to my father, next to me, ready for him to use if we needed to flee. We were on the political party's hit list. My father's businesses were blitzed. My sister was abducted, car hijacked, left for dead. Yet. My family survived while so many others died. But that wound deep inside, the pain I cannot hide, the pain for others' lives so brutally taken, will never, ever be forsaken.